Welcome to the Traders Help Desk Online Video Collection. In this video, I'm actually going to discuss the difference between the indicators and why we would need more than just volume on the the chart so that we can read where price is going. Okay, if I was just using volume divergence or looking at when price makes a higher high on lower volume, you can see that we had divergence here which told us that price should come back and test for sellers just like it did over here when it made this volume divergence you then had a down bar and then up it went again. The problem is you do not know where price is going to go to. Is it simply going to move five ticks down, five points down? You have no idea how far price will move down because you have had divergence. Now on this volume bar here I would have anticipated this inside bar. I expect it to come back and test this top. When it tests this top I actually expect it to do it on lower volume. So we're going to wait and let the bars finish and let's see what happens. What I would anticipate is that it comes within at least two ticks of this high and the high is actually 2530, 25. and it actually should do it on lower volume. Anytime you get this volume spike, this is what I anticipate. It's within one tick of that high. huge divergence. Now this is where I anticipate a pullback in price. Of course just using volume, where is it going to pull back to? So, I'm, okay we're going to watch. I anticipate it should pull back, um, I would say somewhere to at least 25, 25. Let's wait and see if it does. And I'm going to put a line on here that says I think it will pull back at least to this point. I am going to pause the screen until this plays out so we don't have a really long video. Okay, we're one tick away there. I know that it would go to 2525. It achieved that mark. And it may continue downwards, but this is the way that you incorporate volume into the price bars. Now, how did I know that it would go to 2525 because I use an ATR and I use an ADX and this is the difference.
by incorporating our other tools you can actually see that we had the inside bar which I talked about in an earlier video it came back to test the top that told me that it would go back to the ATR and the ATR originally was at 25 uh, 24 I knew that the ATR has a time decay on it so that it would more likely than not go all the way back to the ATR since it is not doing it on the verging volume it may actually flip this ATR again so this is why we use the ADX and it is why we use the ATR it actually gives us the ability to predict what price will do and just using volume in and of itself does not allow you to do that.